Hello, internet friends. In this video, it looks like we're working on the right elevator. Uh, we're going to be dimpling and deburring. Probably in reverse order. Deburring, then dimpling. So today I'm super excited because uh, I actually ordered the wings uh, and my fuselage is supposed to show up sometime today. So super excited. Uh, Monday's video, I guess we'll update <laughs> on how that went, if it actually all showed up. Hopefully there's no damage. Uh, that's the first thing to check. Make sure that someone hasn't put a forklift through your crate. And then uh, you open the crate and make sure everything's inside. So this weekend will be full of inventory. And I'm going to have to I don't know, clean up and find places to put the stuff. Uh, what's out of this frame is I actually have a whole another rack that's basically empty, so I think all the fuselage parts are going to go in that ceiling rack. So, good foresight on my part on buying that. <laughs> so now I have a place to put that. I guess uh, otherwise I'd have to beg space from somebody's hangar and clear out parts where my uh, horizontal stabilizer is right now. So another thing that no one really tells you when you start to build a plane is how much work it actually is to financially secure all the parts, right? So, I mean, actually ordering the parts is relatively easy once you figure out what you want to order. And then paying for that is, um, you know, relatively straightforward. But, you know, these are sums of money where if you're a normal person, right, you know, you don't have just that much cash sitting around, so um, that's an interesting part of building the plane is trying to deal with liquidating and turning, you know, one asset or another into into you know liquid cash so you can actually buy stuff. So uh, I, I did that. That's how I got my wings, and uh, now I'm like, what else should I order? Uh, thinking about ordering the finishing kit, but I mean I'm way far away from ever needing that, so I'm guessing it will take me probably, I was looking back to these videos, <laughs> it's taken me two months just to get the elevators done, right? So fuselage, I'm guessing six or seven months, and that's right in line with when the wings will show up, and I'm guessing the wings will take six or seven months, and then I'll need a fuselage kit, so maybe, maybe I'll order, or er, not fuselage, finishing kit. So maybe I'll order that when my when my wings show up. Uh, the other thing is uh, at Oshkosh, usually they have specials, right? So I'm curious, you know, if they have a G3X or something's on sale, maybe I'll pick those up. Um, so Oshkosh is in, what, six weeks? So we'll see what I come back with from there. Super excited. Maybe it will be a shopping spree? I don't know. That would be fun, but it's always fun to think about spending money. It's another thing to actually, you know, spend money. Um, training update. It was super windy yesterday uh, in Vegas, so we did not go uh, fly the Sport Cruiser, which is the light sport that the flight school has. Uh, so I didn't get checked out yesterday. I'm supposed to get checked out today. Looking forward to that, so next video we'll have an update on that. We did do ground school and I realized how completely <laughs> useless um, spending 15 years in the tech industry has made me at regurgitating knowledge. And uh, let, let, me, let me clarify. So, <laughs> in the tech industry, right, everything's a PowerPoint. Right, so if if you're, a, and it's probably academics and other industries too, but I'm just talking about what I know. So everything I know, I put on a PowerPoint, and then I don't have to remember it, and I don't have to actually, you know, have the skill of regurgitating it out of my mouth because when I need to say something, the knowledge that I want to retain is written down in a PowerPoint, right? And it brings it up, and it's right there, and I remember, and I know what I'm talking about because it's on the PowerPoint, and so. <laughs> When I had to go to the flight school and regurgitate uh, everything I knew from private, I'm like, uh, aerodynamics, there's four forces? Uh, right, so, I, I mean, I know what the forces are, but regurgitating it is a whole different skill than 
knowing what it is and, and using that knowledge to fly a plane and forgetting that it actually exists, kind of like driving a car, right? You forget all of anything you ever learned on your driving test. Anyway, hope everyone has a great weekend. Next video, hopefully exciting updates. See you then.